Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends they know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's Hunter Henry's Chargers going up against Travis Kelsey's Chiefs. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A minute ago, Arrowhead was rocking. The offense led out by all-pro tight end Travis Kelsey as the Chiefs get set to match up with Phillip Rivers and the now Los Angeles Chargers. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gaughton here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use their body to create bigger plays. Cover them with a linebacker, cover them with a defensive back. Either way, they feel like they have the advantage. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. But two straight wins for the Chargers as their offense takes the field. Phillip Rivers, he's been hot not only in the last two games, but the last three hitting on 72% of his passes, over 1,000 yards, and six touchdowns without an interception. Yeah, that's the key stat right there. No interceptions. They're, they're maximizing just about every possession, putting up monster numbers, and really complimenting one of the better defenses in the league. So now you're getting both sides of the ball playing at a high level. Look out, AFC West, and anyone who's in their path. Because right now, top of the AFC West, Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, all tied at 6-6. Six and six. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Hunter Henry brings it in. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. 
Well, the person carrying the ball is always the easy target when things aren't going so well, but I think it's a combination with the Chargers. They've got to get the offensive line going in order to improve those numbers from last year. They weren't very good running it, partner. No, they were bottom of the AFC, second to last in the entire NFL. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. From the gun, Rivers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And let's take a look at the defensive starters for Kansas City. Justin Houston is an elite edge pass rusher, and he has the speed to get upfield quickly, and offensive tackles have to respect that. But also, he has great hands. Ability to get their hands away from his body and then make a move either inside or outside to get to the quarterback. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Rivers. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. And following that penalty, the offense really backed up now on third down. Operating from the gun, Rivers. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A good pick up there, 22. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now a play fake here on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. A very solid gain of 27. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Rivers now on second down. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Third and goal for Rivers. 
Toward the pylon, caught. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So they come into enemy territory. Nice drive to start the game, but they probably wanted six. They only got three. I agree with you totally. That's the expectation. When you get the ball and you start moving it and you're rolling, you think you're going to end up in the end zone. But they should be happy with the three. A good way to get things going here in this game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Alex Smith and the Kansas City Chiefs coming off a tough loss in a wild game against the Jets last week. But Alex Smith in that contest, 366 yards and four touchdown passes. Zero interceptions. That's good, too. Alex Smith takes care of the ball so well while making plays downfield. That's, really, that's where he's elevated his game in 2017. Unfortunately, his team, they've lost six out of seven. So many people talk about a quarterback switch to the rookie Patrick Mahomes. No, no. they're still in contention. You ride Alex Smith. The corrections are bigger elsewhere on this team. Now the rookie from Toledo. This is Kareem Hunt. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run again with Hunt. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. On fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
so out come the Chargers. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. He'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. one across the 30-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there and they were able to successfully complete that one. Fresh set of downs here. They go play action here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now Gordon on first down. <laughs> and a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. his way forward down to about the three-yard line. He could muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. He loses four, and it brings up four. And that play was vintage Derek Johnson. He made a play in the backfield. In college, he did as an outside linebacker. Used speed to get to the backfield. Now, a bulked up inside linebacker with multiple Pro Bowls on his resume. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. Yeah. 
And this one is right through. And that'll make it 6 0 here in the first. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 0, probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Kansas City offense taking over again in just a second. Earlier we mentioned Alex Smith. Four touchdown passes last week against the Jets. Those went to Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill who continued to put up good numbers. Yeah, they were on the business end of the big throws from Alex Smith. Tyreek Hill Six catches, 185 yards, two touchdowns. We know that he's a big play guy. So is Travis Kelsey at tight end. 94 yards in receptions, just four catches, but two touchdowns included in that. And he's coming off back-to-back -back Pro Bowl appearances. Might there be a third in his future? Book him for Orlando. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Every year I go to the combine, I marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. They'll try the air now with Smith. And he slides to avoid the hit. Call it a three-yard gain. And just like that, it's third down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. And you would have to think an obvious passing situation here on third and nine. Throwing on third down, Smith. And the third down pass falls incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 
Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. starting field position here for the offense. He'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a the football. They've got it second and six to start things out. get the quick strike touchdown and with that carry he's already over 100 yards here in the first half and partner you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now right especially to the play caller give me the ball again and, <laughs> and, again, again, and again and again it's not that heavy sir i'll take it Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? down at Smith he's going to leave this for his running back it's complete nothing on that one it'll be second down 
and that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of two, now third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Fake the handoff. Now Smith. He is going to find Hill here. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 76 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Melvin Gordon now, he and the offense, they trot back out there. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Rivers incomplete but a penalty flag is down in the backfield let's get the call well, they were looking to throw holding on the big right tackle that's real simple partner keep your hands inside in the chest area you're probably okay you get it out on the shoulders get them wide you should got to pick up a holding call
Second down, Rivers. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Third and long for Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. On to punt, Drew Kayser, second-year man from Texas A&M. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. This is fielded at the 27. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. To the 40 and no further. The razzle-dazzle, though, got him a couple extra on the play. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. To throw on second down is Smith. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Corey Legion continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen that allows your blitzers to get there so the sack of smith and now the chiefs coming up facing third and long now contact up front as penalty markers come in who is this against encroachment defense And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Five, 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 
Smith with a give to Hunt. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On second down, here's Smith. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. And it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now Smith. He hits West underneath. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Off the play fake here, Rivers. Going underneath for Gordon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. now Rivers he's going to flip one out here to his running back and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 they'll get a couple yards on that one and it'll make it a second down and that's one of his advantages of a passer is it not with his height setting back there in the pocket firing it over the middle he can really see everything clearly it is and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways all right you don't have to be his height to make a great play but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. But that certainly felt like an example of the defense just saying, OK, <laughs> we've had enough. We get mashed all night long. About time we got a good play in. But flip it over to the offensive side. They've got to be really upset that they allowed a play like that to happen. They were pitching such a great game. They want to keep it going. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Here's Drew Kayser now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing, and I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way, and they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him, and he feels like, if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Brought down there. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. The Chiefs on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now Smith. And he'll win it over the middle. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A Kansas City first down. Smith finding Hill that time. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback. A really nice sight line to his receiver. And almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. his way forward here for a modest game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, unless you decide to skip him. And for the record, we do not encourage that. Second down following the run. Right. 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 Out 
Out of the gun, Smith. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now it's Smith. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. a whistle as flags come in and we'll check out the call offense. and that'll be accepted of course and that moves him back five receiver and it's second down let's face it perfection is something we all chase whether it's playing this game or whatever we do hard to attain but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete so the defense has put them in a tough spot it's second and long throwing again is smith and he's going to dump this off to his running back hunt and he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. Again, Smith. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. Second quarter, a guy like him, no catches, so that's the surprising part, but they're winning, so maybe they've been able to do some other things effectively, I guess. And they found other ways, haven't they? Because the receivers would tell you, offense needs to run through us, but they're managing to get it done in this ball game without having to actually do that. I wouldn't expect them to stay silent for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah you got to think that his first catch is coming at some point. A first down throw here for Rivers. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So the offense has it first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now before this first down play, we're gonna get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. good for three and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. Again, it's Rivers. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. A good pick up there, a 22. CD, speaking of Keenan Allen, first player in NFL history with 10 catches, 100 yards, and a touchdown in three consecutive games. He did it again last week against Cleveland. I love how hard he plays each and every snap. You know, he actually just kind of runs defenses into submission because he runs with such confidence, such toughness. I think it puts doubt in the minds of people trying to, trying to guard him. And he ends up coming up with big time plays. And even better, he's doing it late in the season. He's, had to, he's finally able to shake that injury bug over the last couple of years. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout.
So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, this from 34. And his kick is good. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. It's a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves. now to kick this one away and off it goes. Akeem Hunt now to return. <laughs> and a very good return but a penalty marker is down. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. First and ten, Smith. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. That'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot here before break. Smith. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up, facing third and long. A final shot before break. Smith, and off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. First, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Chiefs haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Chargers have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Chargers with the ball early in the second. Gordon's got nothing but space here, and he'll take this all the way for the touchdown as they take a 13-0 lead. Chiefs have it early in the second. Smith's on point with the throw, and this long run goes for a touchdown. Deficit shrinks to six. Chiefs have it early in the second. Leach is going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. in the first half. Defense is going to come away with the sack. This one ends up as a loss of six. So that'll wrap it up for us here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll head back now to Kansas City for the start of the second half.
So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Time to spotlight the quarterback, Alex Smith. And I don't know what more they need to see of him than what we're going to see in this player montage. He's been great. Why aren't they winning this game, I guess, is the question. It is a good question, isn't it? Remember the time we spent with them in practice beforehand and had that little twinkle in his eye where he thought, hey, we can, we can get some bombs in this game. We can get deep, and that's exactly what's going on. But I don't think he thought if they could do that, that they'd be on the losing end. They might need more of this air raid attack. Play fake here on first down. Caught Kelsey left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes. So difficult to cover. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. They'll run it here with Hunt. And an alley to run. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy is going to keep getting the football, and that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. They'll run it now. This is Chark Hendrick West. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. Second down, nine yards to go. the ground it's West again and able to push his way forward here for a good little game it's a four-yard pickup there and it leaves him with third and five well, if you're a football guy that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there obviously a guy carrying the ball but how about the people up front leverage athleticism they created some nice space for him The Chiefs on third down, not quite 50 percent, four for nine. This will be third and five. Now Smith operating from the gun to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic? for not much gain than what we just saw there. Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. And the kick by Butker is good. And the lead is back down to three here at 16-13. 
So a little fortunate there because that one was definitely leaking right. Without a doubt. Maybe about the width of a football or so inside that right upright. But he got it to go. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now running right through it. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's at the 40. 20, 10, touchdown L.A. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here's Hunt. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They run with Hunt. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. 
really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll get three up to midfield. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. Smith turns and gives to West. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. The Chiefs on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third down and 12. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. He dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. This is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. Running light. It's a handoff to Gordon. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. Most players will tell you that night games, while they can be fun, they're really hard to prepare for because you wake up on game day and all you want to do is get to the stadium and let's get going. But you got to bank that fire a little bit and hold it until the evening. It's almost like a Broadway premiere. Got to wait until the nighttime to go out there in front of the bright lights. And boy, has he harnessed himself really well. And now he's unleashing it on the opponents. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Second down throw for Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And 
and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. 23 yards on the play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They'll try the right side this time here with Gordon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. From our vantage point, that was just one bad play by the offensive line in a series of really good ones tonight. But I know that they're going to be really ticked off. It's a lot like a baseball pitcher losing a no-hitter late in the game. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll lead here to a third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Chargers on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Throwing Rivers. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And the offense inside the five here at the four. It's first and goal. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. From the gun, Rivers. And it's caught. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. Offense. 
So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now they try the right side here. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Second and goal as the offense looks to try to punch it in. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And his kick here is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. 
He's had a big game tonight, and while no one's going to be overly concerned about that last play, you also know that the offense coordinator does not want to see that happen again. They want to get back to doing what they've been doing all game long. Defense looking to hold serve one last time here on third and seven. A shotgun snap for Smith. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. Chargers coming hard, and they block it. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Partners, you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. So they're going to go for two. They're going to give it to Gordon. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line. And the lead is going to stay right where it is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. Smith. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Out of the gun, Smith. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll run it with West. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. 
That was a terrific job by the defense stopping them on third and short. But sometimes you get some visual cues from the offense because when they're going in short yard situations, you might see the offensive line come in tighter together, a little more shoulder to shoulder, trying to wedge a hole in the middle. They didn't get it done on that play. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with West. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now a first down following that long game. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. So following the penalty, now first and five. From the gun, here's Smith. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harris. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. West and he goes backwards here losing yardage back to the 16 so he loses three yards there now third down oh partner that play brought back memories watching them string it out letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area but not letting him get out of bounds they formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through not only that got him for a loss as well here and one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't it? Hey, it looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. So that'll back him up five. And here comes play number six on this drive. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 
On third down. That's West. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And that'll get the deficit back to 16. All right, so it's getting late in this one. Now, you could argue that they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but they still face a pretty uphill battle. Yeah, even with the field goal here, it's going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns now to get back in it, and that's going to be a tall order against this defense. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Chargers getting set to go. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added onto their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we wasn't? know that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Allen has it. Left side. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. From the gun, Rivers. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. He got 29 yards that time. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Play action now. Rivers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Derek Johnson coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. continues for Gordon as he gets it here and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line Brent it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter they're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball made it very difficult right there now they need to repeat that effort yeah bring seven eight nine whatever it's gonna take to slow him down 
And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Operating from the gun, Rivers. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. This to make it a three-score game late. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Alex Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Smith on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So the offense readies for a second and four. Here's Smith. From the gun, he'll throw. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. On first down, Smith. He spins free. Two spins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make this a second down.
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. On target over the middle to Hill. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. To throw on second down is Smith. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The Kansas City first, Smith finding his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. and 10 Smith it's caught on the right side by Robinson 23 yards on the play they're going to need to get up and set in a hurry from the red zone now Smith out to the flat that's complete to his running back that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. And that'll set him back five. Smith. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Third and long. It's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it looks like the Chargers are going to win this thing. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And now out on 
the field. Here comes Los Angeles. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel, no one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly. And now the final moments of this one. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, <laughs> right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.